Aldous Huxley said that chickens um, don't know where their food comes from. They don't realize that it's provided by a higher intelligence. Uh, is it possible that the same is true of us and that, and that we are governed by some kind of higher intelligence? One of the most um, intriguing versions of that idea is the sort of science fiction idea that um, we are sitting in the mid mid middle of a computer simulation. Uh, it's it's quite hard to know how we would how we would be sure that's not true. Um, a, a really elaborate second life. Has anybody been in Second Life? <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't a, think we have any Scientologists. A really, yet. A really, <laughs> a, a really a, a, um, elaborate and advanced version of Second Life um, would populate the virtual world in the computer with entities which have subjective consciousness and which behave exactly as we do. And those entities would not know that they were actually in a, in, in, inside a, a silicon world of, um, of a simulation. So science fiction writers, I think more than one science fiction writer has made the suggestion that, that one rather good one is Daniel F. Galloway, who wrote a book called Counterfeit World. I think there are others. I believe there's a film called The Matrix, which people refer to, and I've never actually seen it, but maybe that's the same thing. Um, yes, it's an intriguing idea, and, and, and maybe just like Stephen Hawking's Turtles all the way down, maybe it's simulations all the way up, uh, but there has to be, I think, some halt to that, to that regress, uh, and uh, I would be not I wouldn't, be, I wouldn't find it plausible, but I, I wouldn't, it wouldn't shatter my world view to discover that we're actually part of a simulation. What would shatter my world view would be if at the top of all the, si of all the simulations there was just some kind of master simulator, master programmer who lacked an explanation of his own. Now that would worry me. Um, there has to be an explanation, finally, for where intelligent, for intelligent creativity comes from. And we, we know where our intelligent creativity comes from. It comes from our brains and that comes from evolution by natural selection. But if we're in a simulation uh, where there is a master programmer, that master programmer has to come from somewhere. And, and there has to be something like a Darwinian explanation for that, a Darwinian explanation that begins with simplicity, primeval simplicity, and develops into the necessary, the complexity that's necessary in order to do design or, or, or indeed programming a simulation.